welcome to this movie series on translating ECAD databases into ANSYS. We'll learn how to translate ECAD geometries from third-party tools to ANSYS products. We'll also learn about ANSYS A-Links for electronics design automation. ANSYS A-Links for EDA automatically converts PCBs, integrated circuits, and packages from third-party electrical CAD tools into ANSYS products. In parts 1 and 2, we'll see how to install ANSYS products, in particular the electromagnetic suite and layout integrations for ECAD. Later parts of this movie series show how to automatically translate ECAD files from third-party tools into ANSYS SIWAVE, ANSYS HFSS 3D Layout, and ANSYS SpaceClaim. We begin by installing the Electromagnetic Suite. You can use your ANSYS Electromagnetics product CD or download from the customer portal. To download the EM Suite from the ANSYS website, log in to the customer portal and select the latest release you have access to. For this demo, we'll install the software for the 64-bit Windows operating system. In the Primary Packages section, click Full Package to download the electronics product. We'll extract the ANSYS EM installation files to a directory on our local machine. Right-click the zip file. Select WinZip or any compatible archiving tool from the shortcut menu. Extract the product files to a directory of your choosing. Then open the Electronics WinX64 folder. Before you begin the installation, it's a good idea to close all other windows and applications. Have your license server hostname and port number handy. Double-click autorun.exe. This brings up the ANSYS Electromagnetics installation shell screen. The installation shell presents a list of all the software included in the full package. We'll install the Electromagnetics suite. You can install distributed simulation technologies if you need to configure distributed solves to a remote machine without using a scheduler. This includes the Ansoft RSM Remote Solve Management Service and supported MPI installations. You'll also be given the option to install Ansoft RSM at the end of installing the EM suite. The Common Libraries option is only needed if you want to create a central library repository. Layout Integrations for ECAD adds ANSYS A-Links menu items in third-party layout tools. For now, click Install Electromagnetic Suite. This launches the ANSYS Electromagnetic Suite Windows 64-bit edition dialog. Click Next. The installer displays the ClickWrap software license agreement. Now be sure to read all of these conditions carefully. If you accept all of the terms of the license agreement, you can click Yes to proceed with the installation. Now you can choose where to install the ANSYS EM products on your computer. If there's adequate disk space in your C drive, choose the default destination folder ANSYS EM. This will install the software under C colon program files ANSYS EM. Or you can specify a different path for your destination folder. In this demo, we'll use the default. Next, specify the temporary directory location. This directory will be used as scratch space for the solvers to do their work, so it should be on a fast local disk with adequate free space. Modify the path of your temp directory if required. If you need to grant read-write access on the temp directory to other people running remote simulations on this machine, select this checkbox. We'll just accept the default here and click Next to continue. Accept the option This Local Library Installation. Most users will use the local option. If you work in an environment with a shared set of common libraries, you could set that up here. Click Next to continue. This dialog asks about integrating ANSYS Electromagnetic Suite with the corresponding release of ANSYS Workbench, in this case with ANSYS Workbench Release 17.2. If you have the same Workbench release already installed, and you choose Yes, this makes the ANSYS EM Analysis products available from Workbench. If you don't want to integrate with ANSYS Workbench right now, you can also do this step at a later time. Click Next to continue. Next, you need to tell the software how to find licenses. You can select from one of the three license options. If you're using node-locked licenses and have the license file, select I have a new license file. If you're using floating licenses and know the machine where the ANSYS license manager is installed, select I want to specify a license server. If you already have licensing set up from a prior ANSYS EM release and you want to use the same configuration, select I want to keep the current license configuration. We'll set up licensing using a license server. Specify the license server computer host name. If your organization is running a redundant triad server configuration, then select the Specify Redundant Servers option. Enter the names of all three servers. The idea of the redundant server is to maintain license availability in the event of a hardware failure on one server. 
If you're not sure whether you're using a single or redundant license server, check with your system administrator. Finally, you need to enter the TCP IP port number that the license manager is running on. The ANSYS license manager uses port 1055 by default, but your organization could change that. Check with your system administrator if you're not sure. Click Next to continue. Now ensure other Windows applications are closed and review these settings. Notice this dialog gives the available and required destination disk space. If you're satisfied with the settings, click Next to complete the installation. The Install Shield wizard now installs the ANSYS Electromagnetic Suite. This may take a little while. After installation completes, you get the option to set up remote simulation. This option launches an installer for the Remote Simulation Manager and allows you to register your ANSYS Electromagnetic Suite installation with it. RSM lets your computer run simulations from a remote machine. We'll press Finish and exit the dialog. The original installation shell window reappears now. The installation has created desktop shortcuts for the electronic products. This completes the installation. In Part 2, we'll see how to install layout integrations for ECAD.